Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of High School Romance. We are Choji, a young, charismatic boy at the cusp of manhood. Who is... who, through a terrible twist of fate, has to go to an all-girls school and pretend to be a girl. But, to be fair, he looks quite feminine anyway. Right, so we are, we're here with a principal of a school, and she's gonna go... Uh, she, she went on a shopping spree with us, and now we're gonna get underwear. Yeah. It's a good thing she's dragged me, dragging me, since I don't think my feet would move on their own. The walls are absolutely covered in bras. <laughs> absolutely covered in bras. <laughs> there are only women here, talking enthusiastically to each other between the aisles. Well, of course, why would a man need a bra? Well, unless he really wants to wear a bra, then that would be okay too. As a guy, skirt or no skirt, I get the sense I'm really, really not supposed to be in here. Miss Rowan doesn't seem to mind, though. Aren't these cute? Oh, no, wait, well, that, that wasn't the voice I gave her, was it? Uh, aren't these cute? So, Lacey. We, need, we don't need to buy all that much here. Just pick out some things you like and go try them on. I have to try things on here too? Of course, how else are you going to know if they fit? To be honest, I'm fine with grabbing any... F Come on, try something off of this rack. These bras are huge, how would I fit into one of those? Well, you could always add some padding. It would definitely give you a little shapely. I don't know if I want to go that far. Could we just save it? I'm flat chested. I suppose. Might be a little more risky, but that's unheard. It's not unheard of. I think these could work. Go on, this dressing room isn't any different from the other one. Mm, this is ridiculous. These are the smallest size cups they have for bras. I guess they are more for preteens than actual women. Oh, oh, what about this? Holy crap. What are you doing in here? What? What? This is supposed to be private. My principal isn't supposed to see me naked. Wait, why am I even covering my chest? <laughs> I found this black lingerie set for special occasions and a sports bra for gym class. Does she even care? Here, try them on. Only if you do first, try on the clothes. Ho ho ho! Oh, alright. Only if you do first. Mm. Mm. I don't know. What should we do, guys? I gotta put this up to the vote, and next week we're gonna see the result. No, um. Oh gosh. Try it on. He's already wearing them. I mean, look at this. He's got absolutely no bulge in, the, in those panties. And he's got the widest hips I've ever seen on a guy. What? Holy crap. Actually, I think I'm in love. Uh, I'm gonna if you do first, try on the car. Uh, uh, uh. I can't, I really wanted to say that, but, uh. I think he'd just go along with it. He's kind of wishy-washy. Actually, for the sake of having a fun playthrough, only if you do first. I'd try them on if you do first. I'm not sure why I blurted that out. Maybe I was thinking that if she wanted to see me naked, it was only fair that I returned the favor. It was only after the fact I realized how wrong it sounded. What? I don't know about that. I mean, this is a shopping trip for you. I don't have any reason to try them on. Just forget I said anything. Oh, oh, I get it now. You want to see someone else try it on first so you don't feel so self-conscious. Uh, I guess? Well, in that case, I don't suppose it can hurt. <laughs> Besides, I never pass up a chance to try on clothes. Just don't tell anyone else about this, okay? I'm just happy to have my own skirt bag on. But is Miss Rowan really going to let me see her trying on underwear? Okay, you can come in now. See? Holy hell. Huh? Choji, what do you think? What? Wow. She sure is busty. Why is a principal... Why is she a principal and not a model? Oh crap, she's probably going to expel me if I keep staring like this. Uh, it's very... Um... 
<laughs> what? Your face is so red. Is that a good sign? Um, probably, yes. I mean, definitely, it looks nice on you. Well, if his face is all red, then we know where his blood flow is going. Can't be going anywhere. That bra is way too small for her, isn't it? I mean, I guess she she said she found it in his size. No, wait, she, she wouldn't be able to put it on if it was his size. But still, that's so... She's spilling out like... Like, like a BP oil spill. Nice. With all my vocabulary, the word, the word I meant to come up with was nice. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, don't turn like that. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's a bit small for me, of course. Just a bit? I hope I didn't make you feel too uncomfortable. If you dress like that, it's easy to forget you're not really a girl. No, no, I'm fine, really. But is it really okay to do something like this? Oh, it's fine. After all, my real underwear is underneath. I don't see any underwear underneath that. I guess Miss Rowan would know. Wait, I can't see your underwear on beneath the black panties. Does that mean Miss Rowan is wearing a thong? Okay, I did my part. See, there's no harm in just trying on some underwear. It's a fact of life. Do you feel more comfortable with the idea now? Um... Don't be so shy. Do you know how bras work? If you don't, I can show you. Adjusting the straps is really easy. Come here, I'll let you practice on mine. W what? From behind, of course. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> She's inviting him to come from behind. That's... Ah, gosh. Haha, <laughs> Shoji, your hands are shaking so much. Are you really that nervous? There, see how simple that was? Now step back out so I can finish getting changed, please. My head is spinning, and I'm starting to doubt all this is real. I can't get the sight of her out of my head. It's like her abdomen has been burned into my eyeballs. How the hell am I supposed to go get through gym class after this? Ready! How about this one? Not so shocking, him. Huh? Anything she puts on in this store is going to be shocking. It's a bit tamer, but still stylish. Bright neon colors are really popular right now. They're good for gym because they hold everything in place. What are you talking about, woman? Bright neon colors? The only bright neon thing in this place is your hair. And Choji's hair. And that lamp above his head. She she's just talking about it so casually. Don't be so apprehensive. These are typical everyday topics for a lot of friends. Once you start making some, you need to be prepared to actually have these conversations. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know how to talk about girly things. Since I only live with my parents, I haven't even heard anything like that before. There's an I missing in that word. Hmm. Well, when in doubt about something, just try to follow the other person's lead and agree. So, I just told you my sports bra holds everything in place. What would you say to a girl who mentioned that? Um, I don't have much to hold in place. Good, casual and modest. It might draw a little attention to the fact, but all girls are built differently. You'll catch on, don't worry. Anyway, there's a specific reason I picked this out for you. This is the sort of thing we wear in, we wear to gym class, so you should definitely get one. Now, I've tried them both on like we agreed, so it's your turn. Wasn't there a third item you brought in? Oh, did you want me to try that on too? You might as well. I mean, we've come this far, right? And she just changed in front of him. Wow! Hey, <laughs> so you like it? At this point, I think I'd do anything she told me to. Good. Now, your turn. But do I really have to? Okay, fine. It's not like anything's going to fit me the way it's supposed to, so it sh I shouldn't be that worried about how it looks. But I guess it really isn't so bad. I'm pretending to be a girl that does give me that shape that Miss Rowan was talking about. Well, how do you like them, Shoji? Is everything a good fit? It's great, especially the items you picked out. I'll bet you have a good eye for this kind of thing. For picking out girls' clothes for boys? I mean, shopping in general. Maybe you have a hidden talent. <laughs> Maybe that's true.
Hopefully I get to experiment a little more with your wardrobe sometime. Since you like those items so much, let me buy them for you. At least let me pay for these. You already bought me so you already bought so much for me at the other store. Nonsense! You're a student, so I know you don't have that much reliable income. Just think of it as my little way of helping you out. If you're sure. I am! And thank you for being good sport and letting me see you in those cute clothes. Why is she thanking me for that? I'm glad we arranged this little outing. It's refreshing to get away from the school once in a while. Since we stay there the majority of the time, sometimes we get stuck in our own little world. Not that it's entirely a bad thing, but still. I think I'm going to enjoy it here, even if I can't be myself. Why couldn't you be yourself? You're still you. That doesn't change just because you dress like a girl, does it? That is a very deep message, holy hell. I don't know if it's that simple. If I pretended to be a boy, I don't think I'd feel like a different person. Well, um, I know two very big reasons why you won't... Why people won't see you as a guy. Unless you got them reducted. Reduced. I'd still have my same interest in humor, right? You don't have to change that much about you. Even if you like things people usually associate with boys, that doesn't mean you can't like them as a girl. People can like whatever they want, even your boy clothes don't necessarily mean anything. I think that's what Selima, Selena assumed last night. That and that I was a lesbian. Haha, <laughs> she did really. I'm curious how you answered that one. I told her it wasn't, which is true, I guess, although it was also kind of a lie. Well, you'll probably be telling a lot of those this year. I just hope you work well under pressure. And, speaking of pressure, we're going to be late if we don't hurry. Lunch is probably almost over. I didn't mean to keep you out this long. Oops. Well, what are you going to do? Set me to the principal? <laughs> I guess I'd have to serve detention with you, wouldn't I? <laughs> Yeah, let's get down to detention together. Oh god, I was a bit burpy for a second. Sorry. Still, we don't want to make a bad impression. Let's grab a rice ball and head back to the school, alright? Sure. Thank you for the clothes today. I'll try to pay you back as soon as possible. No need for that. Pay me back by doing well in your classes. And try to enjoy yourself this year. The more time passes, the more I get used to what I'm wearing. I was so distracted this morning, thinking about the act I'm putting on, but I couldn't focus. In the afternoon classes, I'm doing a lot better. I actually managed to take notes during the lecture. And a lot of the time, I found myself thinking about something besides my situation. I don't know if I'll actually get used to dressing like a girl, but at least I won't let it ruin my studies. Hmm? Over already? I guess I'll have to... I'll wait to leave again. I don't want to attract too much attention. Huh? What's Hoshi still doing here? Is she cleaning up the classroom? All by herself? Maybe that's part of a class representative's duties. Still, cleaning up the room looks like a lot of work. Maybe I should help her. Help Hoshi? Leave her to it. Let's help Hoshi. I can't just let her work on it all by her lonesome. The least I can do is offer to help. Hoshi, do you need a hand? Oh, hello Shoji. You wouldn't mind? No, of course not. That's a big job for one person. Here. You aren't obligated to help me, you know. As a class representative, it's my duty to clean up at the end of the day. Really? Doesn't that take a long time? Some days aren't so bad, but I suppose it usually does. Between working, cleaning up, and attending to my other duties, it doesn't really give me much time to hang out with the other girls. I don't think anyone has ever offered to help before either, so thank you. I'm happy to help. It's not like I have anything better to do, so don't worry about it. This shouldn't take too long with the two of us working at it. I've broken it down to a pretty efficient system. It looks like someone left the lecture notes. I'll have to hang on to these too. Someone will be looking for them. Is she the class rep or that mom? I wonder if they're jealous of Hoshi being the class rep. She must have excellent grace to have gotten that position. 
You know, I sort of get what it's like. My parents always moved around so much, I was kind of in the same position. I never got to know a lot of people at school, even when I did make friends, it would never last. I'd be gone within half a year. Eventually, it was, just wasn't worth the effort. I know it's not exactly the same, but I still didn't have much time to really hang out with people. Or people who wanted to hang out with me. Things are different this year. They are. She looks a little relieved. I'm glad that's the case. You see this? This is the face of relief. And all this talking has really made the work go by quickly. The classroom looks spotless now. Thank you for the help, Shoji. We should walk back to the dorms together. Sure, I'll get the door. This is me. Ah, our dorm rooms are fairly close together. I'm just there, down the hall. If you should need anything, feel free to stop by any time. Have a good night. Good night. I'm so tired. I don't have any homework, so I think I'll just lie down for a lay down for a bit. It was a strange day, to say the least, but not altogether bad. It's every day at the school office. <laughs> God damn it! Okay. <sighs> Needed a mental breather there. I'm back in it. Uh, is every day of the school year going to be like this, or will this all seem normal to me in a week? Even that would be pretty odd, I guess. But right now, I don't feel quite as alone as I would have expected on my first day. Hmm. I wonder what tomorrow will be like. Okay, I guess this is the next day. They, they could really have, like, the screen that says, The next day, 8 a.m. Or something like that. Uh, I guess this is the mess hall? This is a really fancy mess hall, holy crap. Things are starting to seem normal already. Alright, putting on panties every morning is still strange. They just don't feel right. They're way too thin. It doesn't feel like any protection at all. But besides that, I'm starting to have comfort a comfortable routine now. For the past two days, Hoshi and I have eaten lunch together. Since no one else really talks to Hoshi either, we've sort of buddied up. She's almost always busy, but now she's taken time out to help me. That first morning, I was so distracted I couldn't focus at all. I missed some pretty important material. It's made falling along in the morning class more difficult. When I mentioned it, Hoshi said she would help me review it so I can finish my homework. Thank you for helping me with this. It's no problem. Helping you with this is actually a good review for me. I won't have to study as much after classes this way. You really do keep busy. I guess so. I always have ever since I started school. My parents had very high expectations for me. That pressure is killing me! They were happy when, when I was made class representative. Did the teachers elect you? Hmm? Oh no, I was voted on by the class. I guess I did used to be somewhat popular. Then, all the responsibilities at work caught up with me and I just didn't have time for my friends anymore. So now I snort cocaine. I wouldn't hold it against them that they moved on. Like you said, I am busy very often. Busy snorting cocaine! It's true that she is, but I don't feel like a reason to abandon... Wait, it doesn't feel like a reason to abandon a friend. I can't help but think that jealousy might have had something to do with it. What's jealousy got to do with it, got to do with it? Regardless, talking about me isn't going to help you succeed in, your morning, in our morning class. Oh, right, where were we again? And sudden drop into the gym, I guess. Oh, all right. Sorry, got, 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 got a stretch. Got a stretch. Ah, oh. ah, oh, yeah. Well, that feels awesome. Ah. Oh. Whew. Okay. So that's gonna be it for today. And until next time, I say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you brush your teeth. Like like good little boys and girls. Don't forget, Christmas is right around the corner. And Santa won't bring you any presents if you're naughty. That clock doesn't have any arms. Until next time, goodbye.